I've hung around pro climbers a lot. I have never seen what Dave's about to do. <laughs> a lot of people have never seen this. Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Pro climbers use and try out gear more than any other climber. Today we're getting a pro gear bouldering hack from the legend Dave Graham. This is something that started off out in rifle. This is a, a trick. We usually use this for tape. Like when you want to tape a cut, you can put a layer of the, the heat strip spray and then tape it and the tape doesn't roll off and slip. But in the late 90s, in rifle, a little history lesson, climbers had already made their own knee pads. People were even selling knee pads at that period of time. Pad Industries, it was called. You would make yourself a knee pad, and since they didn't have straps on them, you would use an adhesive spray, usually a brand called Mueller, which they sell at the local climbing shop around there. But it makes the knee pad stick to your leg and not move. And then I use tape on the top, because I don't like taking the straps too tight. It hurts my the tendon in my leg. When the knee pad's taped on, it doesn't slide, and you can apply a lot more pressure to the knee bar. And as this boulder was open with the knee pad, we'll hopefully not have too much, too many haters in the comment section. Just for all the haters, it was open with the knee pad. The more the knee pad is like not moving, the harder knee bars you can do with it. The more technical knee bars you can do. It's like, imagine you put a shoe on that's too big with no straps. Well, or a shoe with laces and you don't lace it. If you put a certain amount of pressure on it, it's gonna slip. So the same goes with the knee pad. If you put pressure in a certain spot, like here you can see tick marks on the knee pad for where knee, pad, knee bars go. And if you get enough pressure on it, you just pull the knee pad right off. So the game is, is you want to affix the knee pad to yourself. Some people might think that's crazy, but I started doing this before we had shoes with toe hook rubber and all that jazz. Like this is something we've been doing for a long time. This. And I came to here, and I went like this. But then it moves, and that's where I need to move my hand to here to do the next two moves. There you go, a hack straight from the master himself. Anyone else got any knee pad hacks, or any other bouldering hacks for that matter, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you want to get yourself a knee pad and some tape, head to the Epic TV shop. We can't help you with the adhesive spray, though. You might need to head down to the local hardware store for that one. See you next time. Yeah, I hope so. Oh.